This video is sponsored by Card Kingdom. If you click on the link in the description below, it'll take you to their store and they'll know I sent you there. Alright, before we jump into another sealed for Theros Beyond Death on Magic Arena, I want to remind everyone that my content is sponsored by Card Kingdom. You can visit their website by clicking on the link in the description below on YouTube and the logo below here on Twitch. Uh, they've got all kinds of great magic products and uh, they'll know I sent you there if that's how you go there. Alright. Open. Wow. <laughs> We've had some pretty good rares. Our first seal was pretty great too, even though we only went two and three. All of these are rares, and I think you should first pick most of the time when you see them. Um, and yeah, if we can play Blue White and the Thaumaturge and Elspeth, I think that's what we're going to do. Because Dream Trawler is that good. I'm content with like six and three on a, on a limited run. I guess content. Winning more than I lose. Um is uh is ideal i guess at, at worst so can we play blue white that's the question uh, i think the answer looks like it's probably yes what are we giving up in other colors so in black we've got myers grasp elspeth's nightmare among the super good cards final death too but it's pretty shallow color um phoenix of ash is excellent but i think our other options are better um, yeah, I think blue white just looks like it's our best gonna be our best bet anyway So yeah, we go Alcyid. Uh We might play the blessing We'll see probably Sentinel's eyes probably the heroes I'll come back to indomitable will but we probably play it At least one phalanx tactics and one revoke existence Maybe not the birth and maybe not the envoy unless we have a bunch of auras, but definitely the pilgrim and the Pegasus, at least one Surge, Captain of Unicorn, Elspeth Conger's Death. Um, yeah, we want the Thaumaturge for sure. So I think we want Glimpse, Omen, Thaumaturge. Mm, Turtle's not very exciting, but Elite Instructor, Thirst for Meaning, Vexingull. Definitely the Chimera, definitely the Wave Rider, and the Kraken. Yeah, and that's 40 cards right there. Um, then we stick in our Trawler. So, with what we've got here, um, how many enchantments did we end up with? So we have two... Three, four, we kind of have a disappointing number of enchantments. We've only got five. So we probably want to play the will. We have enough cards that like enchantments that I think that's a good idea. Um, do we have enough auras for the envoy to be worth it? Um... Or the Pilgrim. The Pilgrim can find Sentinel's Eyes. Is that it? That's annoying. But that is it. So Sentinel's Eyes is the only aura we have. Other than... Um, well, I guess two auras is probably enough to still play the Pilgrim. Uh, so we do have Starlet Mantle, which we can consider. Definitely don't have enough enchantments for Brine Giant, though. Not really interested in any of these. Yeah, the question is whether we want the Mantle. I think we probably do. Um... And we can maybe cut a Leonin. Maybe that Elite Instructor. Yeah. 
Because we want to jam as many enchantments as we can into this. We have enough cards that like them that I just think that's the right thing to do. Um, the Eidolon is, of course, an enchantment. Uh, and so is the Envoy, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we do want three Riptide Turtles in our Dream Trawler deck. Maybe there's something to that. <laughs> um, like, maybe... Like, how aggressive are we actually? We're not that aggressive. So we could consider that all the turtles in the world... And cut out things like the, the little aggressive two drops that we have. Like, cut all three of these and put in the turtles... And that also means we probably don't really want Phalanx Tactics. Yeah, I think we might actually want the Turtles. I think you guys might be right. If I didn't have Dream Trawler, I don't know if I'd be into it, but... Uh, no, we want the One Drop 1-1. One, one. It's a good card. I'd rather get rid of... I think it's probably better to get rid of, like... I guess we can cut Phalanx Tactics first. Um... Is there anything up here that's not that exciting? I mean, kind of. Uh, thank you for the follow, Bread and Butter, or Buddha. Um, yeah, so I kind of think just cutting all three of those and just sticking the turtles in might be our best. Best option. <laughs> The three turtle deck. Let's do it. Um, Sentinel's Eyes is probably still good enough, I think. Yeah. All right. I think we're going to go with this. See what happens. Looks interesting, to say the least. I like how both of our seals... Um... In both of our seals, the card that win is our logo for our, our icon on our deck box has been a card we didn't actually play. <laughs> I'm not a big turtle fan, but I think this is where you want to do it, where you want to have turtles. Um, I think we can keep this. Yeah. Nothing to do with all right so we got we have ways to draw cards in our deck too which is pretty important if we want to find dream trawler you're an instant right just like think twice yes yes you are all right so we're gonna glimpse of freedom well there's dream trawler <laughs> Uh, don't have anything else to do this turn, mind you, but there's Dream Trawler. Wave Rider, Sentinel's Eyes isn't too bad. Yeah, let's lead with Wave Rider here. There is counter magic in this set, so they may counter it. But they don't. So next turn I can play the Eyes and the Pegasus. Ooh, this will be interesting. Um, the top pile will be face down. Where do I drag the pile? Yeah. So Cataplepis is not going to be fun, that's for sure. But the Shimmerwing Chimera can come down so much earlier. I think I'd rather just give them the Cataplepis here.
They went with the bigger pile, which makes some sense. Alright, so I think we put Sentinel's Eyes on our Wave Rider. Nope, it's sealed. Draft isn't available yet. So Dream Trawler comes down next. I mean, I'm going to take three. There's no good reason not to. This is sealed. Okay, well, may as well just attack. They're basically free attacks, so what they can do with their Chimera right now is return Omen of the Sea and nonsense like that. Alright, so we'll do that. Uh, and then play this bad boy. And we can give it Hexproof if we need to. They're going to get black back their Cataplepis. I can revoke existence on the Chimera eventually. We're just not there yet. <laughs> Alright, so they're going to do that. This turn may be the turn where we use Revoke Existence. Oh, man. Seriously? <laughs> That's like one of the only things that can shut down Dream Trawler. Well, yeah, except I can already attack with it and it'll have Hex. I can give it Hexproof. So it's not the end of the world, but it's definitely frustrating. They tapped out, though, so that, that works for me. So they're going to kill our Wave Rider. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, fair enough. Alright, so we're going to revoke existence the Chimera. Then, I'm going to put Sentinel's Eyes. I have two cards to exile, right? Yeah, more than two. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to put Sentinel's Eyes on Dream Trawler. And we'll exile the two cards that don't have escape. And then attack with both of these. And then I think holding on to two cards is probably plenty. Um, we do really want to be able to cast this vexing goal though, so maybe I should have held on to another card. Okay, so this is a little scary. The tempting thing is to flash in Vexing Gull. And yeah, they have to have two removal spells, so let's do it. I still have a card to discard to keep Dream Trawler alive if I need to do that, so. Alright. Everybody attacks. Play Omen of the Sea. We're basically blue-white skies. <laughs> Too bad we didn't get that sweet blue-white signpost uncommon. That would have been fun for us. 
This is our first game with this sealed deck, so our record is... Um, oh and oh. Yeah, so that makes sense. And then you're gonna block... Huh. I'm trying to figure out what... Ooh. <laughs> Trying to figure out what they're trying to do here because two damage still gets through here no matter what, as far as I can tell. Guess we're gonna find out. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Dream Trawler got an A, and it had it number one on my top ten bombs list, so it got what it deserved, I think. Yeah, the one card I had it basically as number 11 was Kiora Best the Seagaw that didn't make that top 10, but I find it hard, like, before I play a format to ever say a 7-mana card is, like, an amazing bomb. This is a pretty good hand. Early Alcyid, uh, yeah. This is a card I underrated. There's a few that, like, as soon as I... You know, I pretty quickly realized I, I underrated mostly. Um, I think one of the biggest things that I underrated is basically all the enchantment removal, which I made better than usual. Um, but, yeah. Alright, so let's attack. Is it even worth playing the Thaumaturge here? It probably is. Who knows what they're going to play. So Sentinel's Eyes could be handy. Oh, I think I like that. Um, so I can actually flash this in and make this a copy of that, but that doesn't really seem worth doing. I think just putting Sentinel's Eyes on this And we want to be a copy of the Wanderer. Um, yeah, and then we'll attack with our Nessian Wanderer. See if they just take it. They do. In which case, we're not going to bother with Indomitable Will. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem, I'd say. All right, so we're gonna glimpse of freedom. Okay. So I can get its toughness to five. I can also just choose to kill the Manticore with Triumphant Surge here. Um, but if they just want to single block our Wanderer, yeah. So let's let's let them go to blockers first, then we'll make a decision. Okay, so. Works for me. And I'll end my turn. Yeah, just leave everything up that I can. Where's that dream trawler? <laughs> I'm waiting on it. This thing's going to get killed by that annoying trigger at some point. Thank you for the follow, Marcio Silva. Okay, so... Sure. Can't really do anything about it. Um, why didn't it trigger? There it goes. Um, do we want to do anything... I kind of think killing the Manticore makes sense.
two cards in our graveyard. How many do you want? You want five? That's just unreasonable. Okay, so I think we attack with our Wanderer again here. Who isn't actually a Wanderer at all, but you know. Um, okay. Guess we just leave mana up here again. Ugh. That card's nasty if they built around it effectively, which is harder to do in limited, but not that much harder, I don't think. All right, so my turn. Oh my god. The flood I've been experiencing in today's stream is is very real. Uh Sure. What I'd kind of like is a couple more cards in my graveyard <laughs> so I could glimpse. I need more than a couple, but That's a lot of mana. Nice. He said sarcastically. Okay. Yep, if I draw Dream Trawler, that'd be cool. <laughs> uh, okay. So. Still worth attacking, that's the question. Um, I think it is. Okay, so, if I flash an Indomitable Will, I can now copy one of them, so that um, this will become a 3-5 already, and then a, yeah, so that's probably our best move. Protection would also be interesting, but... And... Yeah, make a copy of a writer. That's not good. We knew it was kind of inevitable that they would play something that would start drawing them cards with Furious Rise, and now they've done it. Oh, good. Just what I was hoping to see. Um, so this will be a 5-7. Kind of interesting. And then I can give it protection if I want to. From like green or whatever. I think we attack. See what happens. We've got to keep the pressure on them. Which we're doing a really horrible job of overall. But uh, I think we try. Okay so they're just going to take it. That works for me. Now I'm going to play a Unicorn. And that island. I know we have it anyway, so what the heck, you know. This Protean Thaumaturge has definitely been doing work. If it weren't for it, we'd just be dead, so. They're grinding out so much value over there. <laughs> drawing cards of Furious Rise, drawing cards with Nessian Wanderer. It's intense. Okay. All right. That makes things kind of interesting here. So definitely play our crack in here. Um. So 
So if I can tap down the rider in the future and give my creature protection from green, it's unblockable, so that's nice. Um, but yeah, I think we attack again. The protection is a real nightmare for our opponent overall. Um, so, yeah. I think we want to kill the Forerunner if we're going to kill something. Although, if we can get rid of the only red creature, we can make our Rider unblockable next turn. So, interesting. Um, oh, except we can't because we'll be using the Alcea to save our creature here. So, yeah, we'd rather kill the Forerunner then. Um... Yeah, we'll kill the Forerunner, and we'll go with protection from green. It also gets us a little tiny bit closer to being able to glimpse... Well, that's not good. The good news is we're at 24. We have plenty of time to find our trawler, hopefully. Um, so, yeah. Oh good, a tectonic freaking giant. Man. Flood has not been my friend. I mean, our opponent meanwhile is drawing like everything. Um, but that's because they're drawing a bunch of extra cards, to their credit. <laughs> Whereas we are just sort of sitting over here at 24 life, which is great, but staring down a board that's going to utterly destroy us in the near future. So, you know, it, it adds up. They do only have 11 cards left. <laughs> so if I can find a way here to, you know, not die, that'd be great. All right, so that thing's attacking me. Do I just take seven? The Shoal Kraken drawing us cards seems pretty important right here. I'm just gonna take seven. Uh, it's not a great thing to have happen, but I think it's our best move, unfortunately for us. Oh my God. It's real frustrating when <laughs> You have a day with multiple decks having this issue, but it happens. It'll happen to our opponents too. It all evens out, you know, it all evens out. But... Yeah, the only thing I can hope <laughs> is that I somehow deck them, but you know, it's not gonna happen. You can't play, you know, eight spells like we have the whole game and hope to win. Alright, so I think we'd rather lose our Unicorn at this point. And then we'll just take eight. Yes, of course, the Shuffler isn't broken. <laughs> Mana Screw happens. Ooh. I don't even think our Trawler can save us now. Definitely not. Yeah, where were all the Riptide Turtles this game, huh? Every time you get mana screwed in Paper Magic, Solomon, do you think the Shuffler's broken then, or what?
Okay, well, we've got some early blockers and a sun main Pegasus, so. And I think a big part of it, I agree with everything you're saying, obviously, hash uh, FR4GD. But uh, a big part of it, too, is just confirmation bias. Um, people don't remember the times when they don't get mana screwed. They remember the times when they do, you know. And that's kind of what it comes down to. People's perceptions. If people actually kept track of everything, they would see that it's pretty random, as it should be. Alright, so we got this Riptide Turtle. Get in there, buddy. Okay. So we'll probably go with Omen of the Sea at the end of their turn, unless they play something real scary or something, I guess. Um, that doesn't really qualify as, as real scary, so... I think taking one from a soldier probably works for me. We want to find our friend Trawler, so, you know, trying to draw cards early. Uh, you're not. It just says instant or sorcery. Yeah. That's annoying for our Pegasus, though. That's for sure. Okay, so I think we probably do want Revoke Existence. They're going to get a 1-2, but at least we would we'd kill it. Um... We can kill it with Revoke Existence, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so... Yeah. Enjoy your 1-2. Putting Sentinel's eyes on Riptide Turtle is kind of funny, <laughs> but we're not going to do it yet. We're just going to flash in another turtle here. That's interesting. Um, let's play this Sun Main Pegasus, see what happens. <laughs> kind of looks like they're going to scry. I'm going to hold on to Sentinel's eyes for now. We want to scry with ours at some point, too, to find our trawler. Thing about to be a problem. Well, them shutting. <laughs> oh man, I'm honestly. I think I'm gonna put Sentinel's eyes on a turtle here. <laughs> Yeah, let's do it. We'll stop taking damage altogether if we do it. 
Um, yeah, so then we'll end our turn. So we can scry and flash a turtle in at the end of their turn, or in response to an attack, whichever. Our turtles haven't shown up yet, but they're making sure to uh, get some action in here. Okay, uh, so let's do this first. Come on, Dream Trawler. Eh, it's not Dream Trawler, but I will take it. said to my turtle <laughs> okay so then we play this <sighs> we're looking pretty good at just sort of dirtling forever looking likely all right so we're gonna play this before we attack just in case something happens finally <laughs> we get to attack there's not um, do we bother using this in response? I guess we do. I'd rather leave up mana to do other things than spend it on vigilance here. So let's go green. Oh, you're right. I could have given my... Good call, Kevin. I screwed that up. That definitely would have been the better move. You're right. I can do it. I overlooked it. That would have been good. So we're one card short of being able to... Yep. Okay. I think they actually had mana up, so I would have been screwed if I had done that, um, but it does work. So what they would have done, though, in response is just exile my Pegasus, and we would have basically ended up in the same place. Um, but yeah. I could have waited for an opening, though. Although... They killed my creatures, so I couldn't really. Well, she's big enough to die to Triumphant Surge. Happy about that. So... Yeah, let's go with the Surge here. Dang, okay. All right, so... We can now, uh... Yeah, we can now glimpse if we want to. I think I do want to. Wait, why? I have five other cards. What are you doing? Oh, no, I don't. The Glimpse is one of the cards. 
Got it. The, there's a Seder Lord in this set, and there's a card that gives all Pegasus's lifelink. Pegasi lifelink. That's it, though. That's all we got. Okay. Continue the onslaught. Right now, I do kind of wish I hadn't done this. <laughs> but, you know, it's whatever. Well, that is not good. Yep, I know I can gain lifelink and stuff for my Pegasus. It just doesn't matter. So, the only flyer we have now can't attack through a 2-2, unfortunately. Um, but I think we do just attack and trade with that 2-2. That's what our opponent wants to do. I'm down with it. Also, I can now cast Glimpse of Freedom, finally. I'm going to do it first. Hmm, interesting. Kind of wish I'd held on to uh, that creature, but then I wouldn't have been able to do it in the first place. So, there you go. Hello, Gabriel. We will take two. So, the question here is whether it's worth like using Starlit Mantle just to give this um, flying. I think I may block. I think what I'm going to do instead is block uh, the Moss Viper and then flash in the Mantle. I think that's my plan here. Um, I could attack with my 3-3, but it's not really worth it. I mean, if they just block with the 3-1 and I can guarantee that's what would happen, that would be something. But obviously, I can't guarantee that, so... Eighteen cards left. Come on. I do have Dream Trawler, actually. Um, okay. The mantle's gonna come in handy here. Is it worth blocking with Riptide Turtle just because it can help me set up Sentinel's Eyes? No, I don't think so. Ooh, interesting. Do I have auras left in my library? That's the question. I think the answer may be no. <laughs> so, but let's find out. Do I have a third one? Oh, I do. Indomitable Will. That's pretty good. Um, question is whether I want to use it aggressively or some other way. Probably aggressively. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Get a big hit in here if we can.
Now, blocking with the Riptide Turtles looking a little more attractive. I still need one more card, though, to be able to cast Sentinel's Eyes from my graveyard, so maybe it's not that attractive. Ooh, now it is. Probably. Um, yeah, play the Unicorn. Yeah, Dream Trawler is probably the biggest bomb. We've got it somewhere left in our library. Favorite of Eroas. Ooh, the first Eroan games. That is not good. Oh, they can't hit it, though. Thank God. <laughs> I thought it had enchantments, like that card from the last Theros. But it doesn't. This is just what we want to be doing right now. Drawing extra lands. Might as well hold on to them. I could consider attacking with my 4-4, but it definitely isn't worth it, so. They have fewer cards than I do right now, which could come up. Um, Uh-oh. Definitely could be my last card. <laughs> oh, they didn't have anything to get, did they? Thank God. If they had something to get, we'd have a rough turn, I think. Oh, hello. I forgot we even have this. <laughs> okay. Uh... So... What do I want to exile with this first trigger? I could get rid of a Dreadful Apathy. That might just be best. That would let me attack for 7 this turn, because this is an enchantment. I also get to tap something down. Yeah, so let's play it. Oh, wait. In response, they can still exile my creature, so it's not worth it. Uh, so we'll just get rid of Renata, I think. And then we'll tap down the 2-4. And then... Definitely attack with this. The question is whether I want to attack with my Unicorn, too. They can double block it, I think, effectively enough that it's probably not worth it. So we'll just attack with the, the Wave Rider. Alright. The Chapter 2 isn't all that exciting, but and neither is Chapter 3 right now. I don't have any creatures in my graveyard, after all. Hello. Okay. Um Because we have chapter 3 coming, I think it's fine here to attack with our unicorn. Cool with that. I do only have one card to protect my trawler. Oh, yeah. They can do that. Oh, well. <laughs> Player trawler. 
We have one card to protect it. So say they already have a removal spell and they draw another one. I mean, chances aren't great, but it wouldn't be good for us. All right, we got there. Elspeth conquers death and Dream Trawler worked out pretty well. All right. Turtles did help us win that game. I mean, if there's a place for those turtles, it's your deck that has Dream Trawler in it, that's for sure. Because it's basically unbeatable. Yeah, draft comes on Monday, I think. Night QK. So next weekend's streams will be draft rather than sealed. This weekend we're just doing sealed because that's, that's all we got. All right, this seems solid. Turn two, Omen of the Sea, most likely. Unless they played something there worth killing. We'll leave our mana up. It never hurts to. You know, this has flash, so. Play Omen of the Sea here. I don't know that I want two turtles right now. I don't really think I do. One's good. How funny would it have been there to draw another turtle? Pretty funny, right? Okay. So, playing the turtle right now accomplishes very little. So I think I'm just going to crack this. Hmm. The Thaumaturge is pretty attractive. So is Thirst for Meaning. We do have four mana, so I think we're okay with drawing both of those. Um, might be a little bit before we cast them, but... Sentinel's Eyes on Thaumaturge to turn it into one of these is a pretty nice little uh, thing to do. Well, now Riptide Turtle looks pretty good. Um, yeah, so I think I attack here. Then play Thaumaturge, and I can then flash in Riptide Turtle. Yeah. Another Pegasus is tempting, but I think getting this online early, this can be another Pegasus if that's what we need, you know? <laughs> This is an enchantment creature. Um, okay. Sure. Are you going to attack me now? <laughs> okay. I'm kind of okay with that now. Um, yeah, we'll just block this. And we'll flash in our turtle. Okay, so... Um... I think we're just gonna do this. And we're gonna attack. And then we'll play another Pegasus. Well, now I'm glad I held on to that Revoke Existence, I guess. All right, so the turtle's gonna block that. Um, we'll attack with both our flyers first.
gonna hold on to this land. Yeah, maybe that... Ooh, that's not good. That seems like a reasonable place to go, Hash. Oh my god. Oh good, it's permanent. So they can't get back Erebos' intervention. They can, however, get back... their, uh... inevitable end. Yeah. Okay, well... Alright, so we're gonna thirst here. Hmm. <laughs> That's a pretty disgusting draw. <laughs> yeah, enchantment removal is really good in this set. Uh, so we're going to discard Alciad of Life's Bounty for sure. Um, yeah, so we'll sacrifice our Pegasus. Uh, and so there's our mana for our Dream Trawler. So I think we just play it. I don't really want to discard either of these, but obviously I would to protect Dream Trawler, so. Okay, so. There's not really a good reason to. Yeah. Um, I think I want to cast Sentinel's Eyes from my graveyard here. And we don't have any ways to get back spells, so. So this should be lethal, actually. Because uh, it'll get another plus one when I attack. Oh, except they have a blocker. So it won't be. Now, if I'd played this first, it would have been potentially been lethal anyway, but Mystic Repeal. Okay, uh, sure. All right, so they're going to take seven. We'll play Shoal Kraken. And end our turn. Yeah, I don't think the mirror is that good. Uh, in short. Okay. It's, if you have a couple of bombs, it gets a little more interesting because, yeah, but the problem with mirror shield, as I said in my set review, is you need to have a creature that's already good for it to matter in most cases. And that's asking a lot. The best equipment and auras and stuff make any creature good uh, inherently. So, yeah. And it does not. Like, you know, you want something that'll make your 2-2 into like a 5-3 or even 4-2 or something like that. More than you want plus 0, plus 2, and hexproof. Usually. Again, you know, if you have a couple of bombs, you know, maybe it gets a little more interesting. This is pretty good. I mean, we don't have any really early plays, but Omen of the Sea can help with that. Well, I'm not too happy about that. Um, but what are you going to do, you know? I definitely need to kill that thing at some point soon before things get crazy. She's awesome. I'm sad that we drafted her or had her in our last sealed pool and then um, never, never got her, basically. <laughs> so I think we played her on turn two once and she just died. Which is what I wish I could do to my opponent, but what are you going to do? Come on, removal. 
The turtle's not bad. I don't think I need another land, though. Okay, so... Is it going to be better to scry or play a turtle? Probably to play a turtle. Damn it. <laughs> Here comes a 2 2. Gross. No reason to use Sentinel's Eyes this time. I mean, I guess I could use Mantle plus Sentinel's Eyes, but that's. Or Indomitable Will plus Sentinel's Eyes, but hey, yeah, that, I don't think we want to. We're gonna scry most likely here. I guess the goal can kill this thing. Um, yeah. Thirst for meaning seems reasonable too, but I think I want to draw the goal first. So I could play Elspeth Conquers Death here, exile the Pegasus. Um... But I don't think I want to do that. I think I'm just going to end my turn. Yeah, so far, I mean, like you said, it's really early, so it's hard to say. But I like... Um, I like this format so far because it's doing things, you know... Like, how many formats would I have three auras in my hand in and feel fine about it? Not very many. Okay, so let's flash in our Vexing Gull. See if it gets to live. Block this. Also block that. So, is it worth the risk here of putting Indomitable Will on our creature? I think so. We're kind of in trouble here, so. They could have a removal spell, which would be really bad news. Okay, good. They don't seem to. Okay, um... The annoying thing about Elspeth Conquer's death right now is we don't have anything to get back. And sure, it would kill the Marauder, but I just don't like that very much. I think I'd rather just play this Unicorn for now uh, and end our turn. Use the Unicorn to trade with the Marauder. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, so... It's time for Elspeth Conquer's death, I'd say. And we'll go after the flyer. Tap down this. Then we'll put Sentinel's Eyes on Captivating Unicorn. And no, I'm not attacking. Oh, I had Vigilance. I should have attacked. Okay. That's, that's not good. 
to say the least. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, because we're dead now, right? Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Nope, it's not really outside of white's color pie. White is secondary in reanimating stuff. This is a pretty good hand. We can kind of curve out. We can just curve out, actually. White's not great at reanimating stuff, but it does it. Alright, so Riptide Turtle, Vexing Gull. Seems pretty good. Have we won a game yet without Trawler? I'm not sure we have. <laughs> Bokerto, Servant of Evil. It's pretty good so far. Um... This is only our second sealed. We went two and three in the first one, and we're three and two in this one right now. Right, flash this in. And end our turn. Goal Pegasus is pretty great. Like, you know, we definitely block. If they use a trick to kill our Riptide Turtle, so be it. Is usually how I feel. <laughs> it's like, sure. That guy's good. Flash in Vexing Goal. And play Sun Main Pegasus. I think basically so far all of the stuff that blows up enchantments is even better than I thought. Like I upped all their grades, but I don't think I did it by enough is what I would say. Nicely done, opponent. Nicely done there. Um, since we have another Riptide Turtle, I don't think I need to use this activated ability or anything. Yeah, Return to Nature is definitely main boardable, it's true. You gonna give me something good in my graveyard? No. <laughs> um doesn't really feel like Revoke Existence is worth it there. I think we're in trouble here. They're not exiling anything important, so... This is about to be a 5-5, five, five, so that'll be fun. Too bad it's not an enchantment creature. Okay, so I think I'm going to do this, this, and this, and then give this protection from green. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, I think we're gonna lose. We've had... We have had mediocre luck at best today so far, which is always frustrating. Yeah. I mean, we've gotten amazing sealed pools, so maybe it evens out, but our... I mean, maybe not amazing, but we've gotten good sealed pools, and we've just struggled to... Um, draw well for the most part. I mean, we've had games where we did, but we've had more where we didn't. Okay, well, this opens up some possibilities, except for the fact that I have to make it vulnerable because I didn't have anything in my hand. So, <laughs> we'll see if any possibilities were actually opened up here. Uh, <laughs> I think we're a little too late on our trawler. Yeah, 7-7 seven, seven, trample... Uh, yeah, so I think we just block this and go to two. It's our only hope. Hmm. That's interesting. Does this give us more of a hope? Maybe. Um, sure. I don't think I want either of you. I'm going to need bodies. I think we're probably still dead here. Yeah, because, yeah. I can give it hexproof or whatever, but, uh. It'll tap and then we're dead. Ugh. Three and three there. Three and three. Disappointing start to the format so far.